Minister, this morning I received a copy of an electricity bill from a constituent, a pensioner living on her own. Her bill has gone from €123, Euro, wait for it, Minister, to €3,385 Euro because her bill has been estimated for the past 24 months. To add to her shock, she has been charged all of these arrears at the current electricity rate, compounding the financial hardship that she is now facing, while the electricity supplier gains excessive profits due to this inflated unit rate. The only obligation placed on suppliers is that they attempt to take a meter reading four times a year. After that, the onus is thrust back on the customer to submit a reading after a banal card is thrown in the letterbox. Now, Minister, in the UK, under the back billing rules, an electricity supplier cannot uh, send a bill for energy used more than 12 months previously. What plans are there to do the same here? Thank you, Minister. There's real concern right across this country, but that's a shocking case. It's beyond belief that someone could have such an increase in a bill. And, and, uh, um, if you look at the energy security framework plan this government published two weeks ago, you will see in there a whole series of emergency immediate actions that we're looking for the Commission for the Regulation of Utilities and the supply companies to do to, do, to manage this very difficult situation. So that customers who do get into difficulty for whatever variety of different reason are not seeing it is an impossible, cannot cope, cannot manage. And it requires and putting an obligation on, and we're saying to the supply companies that they have to engage, that they have to make sure they're not disconnecting, that they're actually managing and helping people through this bills process. So that customer needs to contact their supplier and indeed other possible MABs or other support agencies to make sure that that situation is resolved, that they're not left exposed. The government has given clear direction, and sorry, CRU themselves, the independent regulator, recognises the problem. They are giving clear direction to supply companies how to manage such absolutely inappropriate situations.